Hey guys, if you are watching this video, you have made it to day three. Thank you so much for joining me on this road to hungering and desiring more after God. Day three's devotional is called The Ache and the Seek, and I'm gonna be looking down at my phone at the notes that I have here so I do not miss a thing. Hunger, what does that mean? The gnawing ache on the inside of you, that sense of need that is content until it is filled. You know, as people of God, we hunger after his presence. We need to grow more and more and more in our desire for Jesus, for his presence, just to know him more, to hear his voice. But how do we do that? What does it mean to really truly hunger after the presence of God? Here are three things that I wrote down about hungering after his presence and things that you can do to increase your hunger. Number one, pray more for hunger. Pray for his presence. Pray that God just gives you such a desire just to be where he is at. It is his will, it is his desire for us to commune with him, to be intimate with him, to grow with him. So pray more for, for hunger. Also, number two, surround yourself with hungry people. Surround yourself with people that just have that desire for Him, that are on fire for Him, that love Him, that are about Him, that speak of His Word, speak of His goodness. Surround yourself with like-minded people so that you guys can keep each other accountable. You can pray for one another, build that community, whether it's your church or whether it's your community. Surround yourself with people that are going hard after the presence of God. And number three, fresh worship. Put on a new worship song, put on something that hits your soul, something that just makes your spirit yearn for his presence. There are so many good artists, so many good worship teams that are out there that are producing new and great music. Google them, YouTube them, Spotify them, go on iTunes, whatever you need to do to hear a fresh sound, a fresh sound from heaven declaring of God's goodness, his mercy, and his grace, that will completely usher you into his presence. So if you take those three things, hunger, pray for more hunger, surround yourself with hungry people, and get some new fresh worship, I promise you, you will tap into the presence of God. I am so glad that you have joined me on this three-day devotional, There's a Hunger. I pray that it has blessed you, that you have connected with it, and I would love to hear all the testimonies and how this has blessed you. Please comment down below. Please email me, send me some kind of comment on Facebook, Instagram, or whether it's here on YouTube. Let me know that this has blessed you and that you are in a better place running after Jesus. The next devotional will be out July 6th, the first Monday in July. I am so excited to put that together for you and I look forward to seeing you once again. Remember, continue to hunger, hunger after his presence. There is a group of people that believe that they can get close to Jesus and see his glory on this earth. All right, God bless you guys. We'll talk soon.